Well, it is that time of the month again when we come out and talk to Jan McNeilan about yep. tips in the garden. And it's also kind of starting to become a harvest time for, for yeah, us in the Northwest. For a lot of, lot of crops, yeah. And you have a dehydrator, so mm -hmm. let's talk about that a bit. Well, there's, <clears throat> they're fairly inexpensive, and uh, this one I'm drying some figs wow. in here. And I can dry oranges, orange peel, in the winter when oranges are less expensive. You can make orange, dried orange peel, lemon peel, you can dry herbs, you can dry um, all sorts of different things. And there's a lot of, of, of fruit from the garden, like these figs, that mm -hmm. you could, they all easily dry, and that does a couple of things. First of all, dried fruit is good, but then it's great for, you know, packing it away for the Absolutely. Winter. And then you don't have to can it or right. heat up your house. That's why I have it plugged in outside. Outside, yeah, very smart. Um, but, and then also there's trays that come with it that you can make fruit leather. Oh, nice. Um, or have some something else that you want to get a lot of air to it. And, you know, you can also dry strawberries in that. You can, <laughs> and, and I have. You can do like sun-dried tomatoes and dry tomatoes in here too. And so since strawberries have come and gone, there's still stuff we should do to the plants themselves Absolutely. This time in August, you cut your strawberries back da right down to the crown and fertilize, and oh. that's all, because now they're going to set their buds for next year for your fruit. And so that prepares. And then there's also some stuff about planting at this time of year because we've had some serious heat. Absolutely. But we're going to go into the greenhouse and you're going to give us some tips on that. I will. All right. Okay, so here we are in the greenhouse. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are afraid to plant when it's really super hot out, but we still can. Just give us some of the best tips on doing that. Well, Normally, I don't have this much stuff in the greenhouse at this time of year, but uh -huh. we've got a family wedding here in a couple of weeks, and I bought a lot of stuff to put in, new in the garden, and it's been so hot. Yeah. So now it's cooling down a little bit, but um, so a lot, all of this, most of this is all going outside. But when you plant when it's hot, uh, you need to what's called mudding in, and you literally dig the planting hole uh, as deep as the plant itself with mm -hmm. the soil level and twice as wide. And then you put uh, the hose in the in the hole before the plant and literally fill the hole with water. Okay. And then pull your plant out of uh, the container, which this one's not gonna come very easily, but anyway, and get it out and then scratch the roots on the outside. If some things are gonna be, especially sitting here for a long time, right, gonna right. be root bound. So you want to score the roots uh, and just kind of open it up or butterfly it a little bit, put it in the hole, backfill it. Uh, you can put compost in. You don't need to do a lot of amending because most of the time the plants are fine. It's just water is what yeah, they're going to need yeah. the most. And then, of course, afterwards you would continue. Don't just Absolutely. stop with that. That <laughs> water won't do more. it and <laughs> then wait till October or something is f for watering. You've got to continue to keep right. those plants moist, but at least they're going to be under a lot less stress if you plant them with the water. And then, you know, one of the things I've noticed in my own garden is a lot of notching on leaves. And I'm, I'm assuming that's root weevil. Is it that is, accurate? It is. It is. And it's on everything yeah. this year. It's crazy. <laughs> it seems um, to be. And if it's a rhododendron, there's some things you can do and use tangle foot at the base of and keep branches from flopping on the ground uh, where they can crawl up and do the notching. But it's on everything. It's on perennials this year. Right. It's on evergreens. It's on all sorts of stuff. Yeah. And and nothing really we can do about it right now. because There really the, isn't. Yeah. Nematodes are used sometimes for root weevil, but it, it takes it at the right time. Right, right. All right, well, there you have it, you know. So go out to your garden, enjoy it, and then we'll come back next month for even more tips. And Thank you so much, And these will Dan. be planted by then. <laughs> they will. <laughs>